question and would like to introduce uh, Engineer Moment to you. So Engineer Moment is the head of reservoir engineering department in Dara and West Bank Petroleum Company with more than 12 years of experience. His main experience is in practicing all features of reservoir engineering, multi-segmented work using the latest softwares. So thank you so much. And in Engineer Moment, you can share your screen and start the presentation. Uh, thanks, Engineer Get. Um, trying to share uh, the screen right now. Uh, can you see the presentation or no? No. Mm, okay. Now you can see it, right? Yes. It's okay. clear. Yeah. Okay, so we can start. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, uh, my name is uh, Engineer Momin uh, Muhammad, um, and I am here today to introduce uh, this webinar for you about the well test uh, design. Okay. So at first, uh, I'm just want to give you a brief about uh, what is our test. Actually, our test is a tool that uh, the reservoir engineer use to get information about uh, the reservoir he is working on. So actually, basically, it is done using pressure gauges, uh, recording, and uh, rate uh, recording. So when you have uh, uh, both rate and pressure recording, uh, this will test data that you can analyze to get your reservoir information like the probability, the scan uh, boundaries, and something like this. Okay, so, uh, but actually first, before conducting the test, uh, the first step is to design this test. So you need to design the whole test before conducting it. And the first step in conducting this design is to determine your objectives from the test actually. So why you are doing the test? This is the question that you need to answer before conducting the test, okay? What you need to get? What is the information you need to get from the test? Do we need to know the just the reservoir mobility and the scan factor? Or uh, you may need to, to see if there is a nearby fault or uh, ceiling or, uh, or, or not ceiling, Next to next to your well in the reservoir of interest, and what is the distance to this fault, for example? So this is a boundary issue, actually. So this is another objective. So to reach this objective, you need to design the test to achieve them. So how you can do this? So at first we determine our objectives. Okay. Now we will see how to design the test. Actually, to, to make your design of the test, you need to gather all the available information that you have about the well. You will conduct the test inside it and the reservoir of interest. Like the following, you need to have the structure map of your reservoir. You need to have the production data or the injection data of your well. You need to have the metaphysical analysis of the reservoir of interest, you need to have the open hole logs, the BVT data, the RDT data, and the well operations history. By the way, the RDT data are the, the pressures that you measure uh, when the well is just drilled. It is an open hole log, just run, you run it after drilling immediately to know the initial pressure and mobility of, the, of your reservoir. So, you need to have all this data, actually, as possible as you can. So you need to gather all the available information about the well and the reservoir of interest. Uh, actually, we may add to this the core data as well, if you have from your well. So the design uh, is actually made using a software like Kava, Sapphire, or Ansys, OK? 
Okay. So in this webinar, we will see two cases for a well test design. The first case, it is an oil producer for which we need to determine the reservoir permeability and the skin factor in it in its initial completion phase. So we need to design a build up test for this well to get the permeability and the skin factor. Uh, actually, by the way, the skin factor is just representing the, the degree of damage uh, just in the near well bore area in the reservoir of interest. And the second case, we, we have a water injector for which we need to determine also the variability and the skin factor after injecting for two days with daily injection rate of 1,000 barrel water injected per day. This is a follow-up test. So we'll start with case one. So at first, we need to enter some data in the first document page that Sapphire this is a fire, actually. This is uh, the snapshot you see from this slide to the end of the webinar is from Kaba Sapphire software. So you need to enter some data here. We ne you need to determine the test type. Uh, in this case, it is standard test done on the well. We you need to, to input the well radius, the base zone thickness, and the porosity. The well, the well radius, you have it from the well bore sketch. The, ba uh, the base zone thickness and the velocity, you have it from the physical data. So remember when we talk about, you, you need to gather the data before uh, making the design. Okay, we, we mentioned the physical analysis, okay? And you need to determine also uh, the phase, uh, pr the principal phase of your test. Here it is oil, because it's an oil producer. Okay. Second, you need to, to enter the BVD data okay, of your reservoir fluid. Uh, you may already have this data from an offset well or from the same well. If you take, uh, if you already took a sample from it and make analysis for it in the lab. So you have this data from the same well or another well you can take it from it for, uh, for, uh, for the same reservoir. The key point here is the data should be for the same reservoir, okay? If it is from another well, okay? Offset to your well. So uh, here you need to enter the formation volume factor, the P and the viscosity, the oil viscosity in this case, because the, the principal phase is here, we assume it is oil and the total compressibility. Of course, the total compressibility is a factor, uh, uh, is a function of the rock compressibility and the flow compressibilities and the saturation. So, so you need to have the rock, all this, you need to have the rock compressibility available, the fluids compressibility available, the saturations available. This is duration mainly from the physical analysis. Uh, the fluid compressibility is, is from the BVT report, and the rock uh, compressibility is from the core report. So, you need to have all of this. If you don't, you need to, you have to assume, you have to assume the missing numbers to get the total compressibility, which is uh, whose symbol is the CT, as you see here. After that, you need to select the test design button from the more tools. Okay, uh, so this is. Uh, uh, version 4.02.04 of Sapphire, okay? So this snapshot is from this version. So we need to click on the test design, okay? When you do this, you will get this window inside of you, against of you. So here you need to determine some uh, models, okay? You need to determine some models. So you need first to determine the oil bore model, uh, do you have oil bore storage? You, you expect this or not? So if you expect, a co for example, constant oil bore storage, just uh, select this choice. If you don't uh, expect at all, so select no oil bore storage, for example. 
Then you need to determine the well model. Do you have a vertical well or just perf perforated only, or you have a fracture well, a hydraulic fractured or horizontal or or vertical limited entry? So your perf length is smaller than the the reservoir thickness or the net base thickness. So you need to determine this. Okay. Then you have you need to determine the reservoir model. Okay. Uh, do you have a homogeneous reservoir or uh, you have two porosity reservoir model or two layers or radial composite? All of this stuff you need to determine your reservoir model. Okay. And last, you need to determine the boundary model. Uh, do you expect to, to, to not seeing any boundary at all and this infinite? This mean meaning of infinite acting? Or uh, you have one fault or leaky fault? Or, all these modes are available to you. And you should select it based on the case and your objective, as we said at first. So if you, for example, if you need, uh, as, he, as uh, here in the case, we need to determine the reservoir permeability and the skin factor. And we are not interested in seeing any boundary. Okay, so here in the boundary model, we will select infinite. Okay. Uh, then you have to determine the test design options like the the C the C is uh, is the wellbore storage coefficient. Uh, you need to, to just uh, uh, assume also the scan value. Uh, you have the initial reservoir pressure measured from the RDT as we said, uh, or a, yeah, in uh, or assumption as as your best guess, and uh, also. Uh, you need to just assume the permeability that you actually need the test to give it to you. Okay. So this is somehow kind of reverse engineering. So you just enter the value that you need actually from the, the analysis of the, the, the test to, to give it to you. Okay. Uh, so uh, how you enter this permeability? Uh, you have a core from the well, uh, or you have a core from an offset well from the serum reservoir. Or you have calculated it from uh, a porosity variability, just a relationship, any source. Okay, it's just assumption, but it needs to be based on some high. It needs some basis for it. Okay, some basis for it. A relation, a correlation, a core data, anything. Okay. Here, uh, in this step, the fourth step. You need to determine the oil production time and rate from the red button. Uh, actually, the red button um, here, if you see my cursor, it is this button at the bottom of the of the test design uh, window. It is the red button. Okay, so you need to enter. It is here. If you see this, this is the red button. So you need to enter the time, the duration of the production. Okay, and the rate in this period, and also the the period of the build up period of the or the shutting period. So you uh, enter uh, the first row, and you click add, and enter second row, and okay, and when you are satisfied, click okay. So here we enter we uh, design our test that the oil will produce for ten hours uh, with a rate of five hundred barrel oil per day, then it will be shortened for 24 hours, okay? When you are satisfied, okay, uh, you click generate. Yeah, and this is the, the plot of the pressure signal, okay? As you see here, we assume the oil is vertical, the reservoir is homogeneous, and the barrel is finite. We, we entered the PI, the initial reservoir pressure, the vulnerability um, thickness protocol, Skin and the wellbore storage coefficient. And then you go to the interpretation and in the fifth step and select extract DB and select the gauge. Uh, of course, you have here one gauge, okay, uh, and uh, group here. Uh, the gauge is called here to design, the group is built up one. So the group mean, means the period that you want to. Uh, extract the DB for it. So uh, here you have a drawdown and build up, as you see. So we have a drawdown here, which is the 10 hours production period. 
for uh, with 500 barrel oil per day. This is a drawdown period. And then you have 24 hours shot in, which is a build up period. Okay. So we select here to extract the DB for the build up period. Okay. Accept the parameters and click OK. When you do this, Sapphire will uh, show you two plots the Similog plot and the local plot. Uh, Similog plot was, uh, you can say, the old stuff of the oil uh, test and design and analysis. Uh, and the local plot is uh, new stuff. Okay. So, and we focus on the uh, on the log log plot. So as you see here, this is the delta pressure curve and this is the derivative of the delta pressure curve. As you see here, uh, this is the first thing that we see in the in, in the log log plot is the well pool storage area, the area affected by the well pool storage and the scan. Okay, and this is the reason of this hump actually for the scan, and then you see this stabilization, the horizontal line. This horizontal line is the infinite acting period, okay? Infinite, infinite acting gradual period that you actually get the variability from it. So uh, I want uh, you also to remember that uh, the scan uh, is a factor function of the variability. So if you don't get the right variability, uh, your scan will be uh, not right. Okay, so you need to get the variability, make sure that you get the variability. So as you see here, the, the, the derivative here, the red curve didn't uh, re, uh, become horizontal line. It needs a little time, more time. Okay, so here, as as we see, as we said, we you need to evaluate the blocks, okay, especially the rubber block, to see if the design is accepted for you. Accepted means that it achieved the objective you set for it. Okay, in this case, I will increase the shutting time to nine six hours instead of twenty four. Okay, because the infinite acting period is not clear here on the block. Okay, as as I said, so. Uh, actually, this is, as you, as you said, this is the typical oil test row look plot, the DP plot. So as you see, this is the delta B, and this is the derivative of the delta B. Here is the oil bore storage area affected, and then the radar flow, and then maybe ceiling fault or something. So I will just enter 96 here instead of 24, okay? And that is the design window, okay? You remember? And click generate again. Here, as you see, when, we, when I rerun, I will click generate again for the set design and extract the DB here. I see the, as you see here, the horizontal line, which represents the radial flow or the infinite acting period from which I will get the variability. So here uh, I finished now my test design. Uh, I'm, I will send this design for the petroleum production engineers or production technology engineers to make this design actually on the web, okay? This is the first case. The second case, uh, which was an injector uh, injected for two days, was 1,000 barrel per day. And we need to determine the permeability and the scan factor also of this uh, reservoir. So uh, like uh, case one, the first page, we need to enter the radius based on velocity, uh, reference time, and here the phase will be water because this is a water injector oil. Okay, this is the only difference in this uh, window. Then we need also to enter the BVT data, show the BVT data of the injected water if you have it. Okay, if you don't, you you need to assume. Okay, uh, as usual. Okay, click create, click the test design and select your model as before we will start here uh, with uh, we, we will select the constant oil bore storage okay because uh, actually here we will shut and the oil at the surface so we will have some oil bore storage effect okay then we will select the oil model the the, the oil here is vertical so we'll select the vertical okay here we for the reservoir model we will select homogeneous okay homogeneous reservoir and then for the boundary here 
we we don't need to to say uh, to see any boundary effect we're just interested in the probability and the scan and for these objectives we need only for the, the pressure signal to reach the infinite acting period so we don't need uh, any boundary so we'll select infinite Also, we will enter here the expected will be storage coefficient, the scan factor. I will set it here to zero. Uh, and the initial support pressure and the probability. As you see here, if you click this calculator here, small, it will show you uh, the K. You can insert the value that you feel it is represent representing your reservoir in, in the oil area. Okay, so. Here, we enter the injection time and the rate from the rate button. It's called the gauge button. Uh, I, I want here, I want you to note that the, the rate here is negative. It has negative sign because this is injection rate. So when you enter uh, a production rate, you enter it with positive sign. Well, when you enter injection rate, you, you do it with a negative sign, okay? So as you see here, we we have uh, 48 hours with minus 1,000 barrel per day. And then we will shut in our injector for 24 hours, okay? And then we will inject again for one day with 1,000 barrel per day, okay? So now we entered the the test durations and rates, click OK and click Generate. OK, here you see the history plot. You have the injection period, this one, the pressure increase in, in this period. Then you will sh you shut in the injector, so the pressure decrease. And this is the fall off period, OK? And then, which actually we need to, to, uh, to analyze the follow period, and then we will inject again in the way. So we will go to the interpretation and exit, select extract DB button, okay? We select our gauge and our group. Here we have three groups, actually. We have this one. Each, each, each flow period uh, is a group, whatever the rate. So when you have a rate, not zero, it is uh, here, it is an injection period because this is auto injector. And then here you have a fall, a fall of period and then you have an injection period number two. So we need to, to extract the DB for the follow period, okay? We will select it and click okay and accept the parameters. And Sapphire so show us the semi-log plot and the log log plot. As you see here, we, in the log log plot, we have the well bore storage and scan Affected area at first, the same uh, with the, the oil producer case, and then we have the horizontal line, which is, which means that we reach the infinite acting gradual uh, flow period, okay, from which we will get the variability actually. So uh, now we can get the variability and get the scan from this uh, case. As with the first case, we need to evaluate the plots at this stage, especially the regular plot, to see if we reach it, our objectives from the design or not. In this case, I'm satisfied with the design, so I finished it because the test code, the infinite acting period, as seen on the regular plot. Uh, actually, this, uh, this plot is not right. This, this is the right plot. Sorry for this. So, this is the right one. So, um, okay, we can hand this uh, design for the engineers to actually uh, execute it in the field, okay? And hopefully we will get the, the result that we need from it. Okay, um, I, I, you just saw this plot before. So thanks for your time. And if you have any questions, uh, happy to receive it. Thank you, Engineer Moment. So if anyone has any question, please don't hesitate to type it in the chat so Engine Moment can reply to all your answers, so to all your questions, please.
And also, I shared with you a feedback form in the chat. Please, everyone, make sure to fill it so we can always fulfill your needs. So please, again, if you have any question, please don't hesitate to write it down in the chat. Okay, we have a question from, what information will the structural map give? Okay. Okay, uh, the structural map uh, will give you important information actually. So for example, you will see if you have a nearby fault, okay, for you next to your well. So in this case, and if you want to see the, the this fault effect in your test analysis, so you will get the distance for this for, uh, from your well to this fault from the map, okay? As for example, uh, so basically, yeah, or generally the map gives you the, the system around the structural system around your well. So you may have uh, one fault, you may have two faults, two barrel faults, you may have intersecting faults. So may have, you may have uh, four faults around you, so uh, you somehow in, you will inside the rectangle, okay? Close the system, okay? All of this you will know from where? From the map. So this is the information that the, will, the map give you. Okay, thank you for answering a moment. We have another question. What if water is coming from annulus during testing period? Does it mean tool failure? Or juxtaposition of bits casing the floor. Okay, what if water is coming from the annulus during a testing period? Actually, um, I, I, if, if you, uh, I, I don't uh, know, you are talking about a, a producer here or injector, so but anyway, uh, this is a, a problem if, if you have water coming from the annulus during testing period. This may low from the annulus, okay? So actually this is uh, not right actually. Uh, le let's say we are uh, producing uh, in the flow period from the tubing or the, from the track string or something. So uh, in this case, uh, you, you should not see flow coming from the annulus, okay? So uh, in this case, this, this is a problem for your test. Okay, and the analysis most probably will give you, uh, will not give you your objective. Okay. Uh, and it doesn't mean, uh, if you, if you say, uh, I see you say tool failure here in this case, if, if like uh, you have the TCB string or the DST string uh, and you have the buffer set above the perforations, you should not see uh, water or oil coming from the annulus. So uh, here may, you, you may, uh, the problem may be that the bucker is leaking actually. So uh, this may be uh, a tool failure. The tool here is the bucker sitting above the perforations, okay? So juxtaposition uh, of bits, uh, I, I, don't, I, I maybe this case is a flow or not, but, but actually here uh, you have a flow Maybe it's coming from the perforations uh, uh, that you're testing, or maybe from anywhere else. If you have a casing uh, leak, for example, so so uh, we have possibilities here, not one possibility. So we need to consider uh, all of them. But but actually, uh, this test will not give you most probably your objectives if if you have flow from the annulus, and you uh, and uh, the intention was to produce from the tubing. Okay, as usual. Uh, how can I hope this answers your question? Okay, only have how can we expect 12 bore storage in what test design? How can we expect? Okay, so as uh, the well bore storage, um, uh, all the time you will see it, okay, uh, but um, uh, it depends on the case. Uh, I mean, um if you shut in the well, for example, like case one, if you shut in the oil at the surface, so you expect all the well bore volume from the surface to the perforation to, to uh, for this effect, okay? So all this volume is contributing to this effect. 
okay uh, actually also if you have a gas well uh, which is a high compressibility fluid so you will expect the, the well bore storage effect to be higher than uh, in oil case for example okay but uh, actually also if you if you shot in the well as a uh, uh, near to the perforation okay uh, by downhole uh, shot valve. So here you may expect not to see any oil bore storage at all. Okay, because you are, you you it's attract all the oil bore volume from the perforation or near the perforation to the surface. So in this case, yeah, you may you may see no no oil bore storage effect at all. Can we differentiate skin like partial uh, for the second question, can you differentiate the skin like the partial penetration or rate dependent? So this, uh, you may have some options of this in the file, like the rate dependent skin. Okay. Um, so you may enter some values for the, the expected rate dependent skin while the test the, the design, but but the yeah and your design for this uh, and components of the from the skin is not uh, guaranteed actually so actually you you may enter the total skin and just uh, the red dependent skin for example parameters but nothing is granted yeah nothing is granted i hope this answer your question any question else Okay, thank you in your moment, and thank you everyone for being with us. Please don't forget to fill the feedback form that I sent in the chat. Yes, and we will see you in our next webinar. Thank you. Thank you.